G'day and welcome everyone. Today we will be looking at everything you need to know to hit the ground running in Warlord Britannia. At the start of the game, you land on an Isle of Britannia as a legate with a small group of legionaries and a handful of gold and silver, who has been instructed by Rome to take over this island in preparation for the larger invasion of Brittany. From there, you will set up a camp, conquer local settlements, build up your legions, fight rebellions caused by your perhaps too aggressive rule, and generally follow the historical accurate move of just conquering everything in the name of Rome. When landing we are armed with a few weapons. If you press 1 you will draw out your sword and shields. If you press 2 you will draw out your bow which has 6 arrows and by pressing 3 you will get the build hammer, by pressing 4 you will get the command stick and by holding F we will bring up one of our two pillars which can be thrown by then releasing F. The first thing we want to do when we begin is find a nice suitable place to set up our first base camp. When doing this there are a few things we want to keep in mind and the first thing is the distance between our our camp and other settlements. To see where other settlements close to us are, we can use our map by pressing tab which will bring up the in-game organization menu. Being close to small settlements like farms, hamlets, way stations is a good idea to start but you'll want to avoid villages and towns until you have a larger standing army or you'll get wiped out very quickly. Another thing to keep in mind when placing your camp is if you place them along roads you'll get a lot of action from convoys and these convoys carry gold and sometimes VIPs and they vary a lot in size. So this can be a good way to level up your troops and gain cash if you want to take more of aggressive stance, but keep in mind they might send a massive convoy and wipe you out before you are ready. I like this spot, so let's set up our first camp. By pressing 3 we will bring up our building hammer and by left clicking we can place our flag which will create a new heart of Rome in a faraway land. With our flag up you can now recruit and upgrade troops, replenish health and supplies and build tents and defences within the area of the flag. For our army to grow we will need to house them by building tents. So while holding our building tool if we scroll the mouse wheel we will find the contraburnium tent which is the specific tent we need for our legionaries. So let's just go down and place five of those down for now. We will also need an officer's tent for our centurion and we can use a ratio of one officer's tent to five contraburnium tents to field one full century which is one officer four NCOs and 16 enlisted men. To finish off these sets of tents, we will place down some chests, which will then enable us to store more wood to then build more tents. To actually begin construction of the camp, we will need to assign soldiers to become workers. We can do this by once again pressing tab and then heading to the legion section. Here we will need to disband our troops and then put the slider with this little flag all the way to the left. This will allocate these soldiers to the guard or worker roles. If the slider below Below that one is to the left, then these will become guards. If it is to the right, they will become workers. And if it's in the middle, these roles will be evenly split. To check if you've done it right, the workers will be dressed in Roman red and will not be wearing any armor. These workers will start building automatically and they will also collect wood for us. To be able to harvest wood, we will need to press 4, which is going to equip our command stick. Scroll until you find the harvest resource section and then simply go to a tree and left click to harvest that tree. Our work are gonna then go and collect all the wood until the chests are full. If you would like to simply clear an area of trees and you don't care about the wood, you can click clear cut here. Now we have a small base camp, but no defenses. It's not required straight away since the island will be pretty chill, but you will very quickly need to build palisade walls, watchtowers, platforms, and battlements, all to defend your camp from very angry locals. And to do this, we are gonna go back to our building hammer and cycle through until we find the the building we want to place and then we will simply build the camp of our dreams. Now we have a base with some basic defenses and tents to house our legionnaires. We should probably recruit some more soldiers and we can do this by pressing tab, clicking on the legion section and then under recruit we'll hit the legionary icon. A normal citizen recruit will cost you one gold while auxiliaries, archers and engineers will cost you more and they will become available to you after you have recruited three full centuries. Before we go though we need to make our workers soldiers again so we will just move the slider with the flag from left to right and then click call to arms right now our troops are in the marching formation which will increase their speed which is perfect for traveling to the nearby farm but if we do want to change their formations we can press the t and y buttons to do that pressing t will change the formation from march battle and testudo while pressing y is going to change the size of the formation from three rows two rows line and checker 
The different sizes won't matter so much just yet as we don't even have one full century. They will be much more important for later on when you are fielding a much larger army. If you want to move your soldiers without following you, you can tell them to hold position by pressing R and then moving them with the arrow keys depending on which way you want them to go. Now we're ready to go and conquer our first farm. So we're approaching the enemy farm and they have archers so I'll press the T button until I get into testudo formation. Now with the threat of archers reduced we can move up. Once we're here we can press hold and put them into battle formation. Later on we'll have our own archers and siege equipment to help counter them but for now we will just have to quickly take care of this rebel scum ourselves. Once the enemy's numbers have been reduced we can press G and our units will break formation and charge them and take every last one of them out. The farm is now Roman and its fate is in our hands. We have the options now to loot, raise or leave the farm be and we can enslave, murder or leave the population be. And lastly we can choose how much we will tax this settlement. Taking control of these settlements is how we are going to fund our conquest and we can choose how soft or how harsh our demands of this farm are. If we are too harsh we will gain a lot of money but we will cause greater unrest to the local area and to a lesser extent the whole island itself and this can lead to ambushes on the road, raids on our camp and even full blown rebellions. But on the other hand, if we are too soft, they won't be very angry with us but we won't be getting much money for the upkeep or expansion of our army so the choice is yours. Now we are back to camp with our loot and it's promotion time for the boys since they worked so hard. In Warlord Britannia, officers are recruited from the ranks of experienced soldiers and this experience is accrued by days in service or total kills by the soldiers and each promotion will still also cost you silver. To promote a soldier, there are two ways. One is by directly left clicking on a soldier with the command stick which will bring up the promotion menu. The second and my preferred way is directly from the legion tab. When promoting soldiers, you must fill out all of the roles in that century before being able to create a new one. So you must have a centurion, a signifier, a cornison, an optio and a tessarius. Now we have one full century, we can start recruiting our next century. If you want to upgrade a unit's armor, it will cost you silver and can be done the same way as promotions, either with the command stick or the promotions menu. You also have the option to mass upgrade armor by left clicking on the crown above the flag in that centuries tab. Now we have made our very first camp, filled our first century, conquered our first settlement and have an income to fund our growing army. These are your first steps into a much larger world. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And if you enjoyed this guide, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe below. And I'd like just to give a shout out to Diablo for filming all the footage for this tutorial. What a legend.